Hi, I'm Karen from Brother. I'm here today to show you the NV950. This is a compact sewing and embroidery machine combined. It has 129 utility stitches built in and 196 embroidery designs built into the machine. Included with the machine is a CD with 126 designs on it. As this machine has USB capabilities, that means that you can open up your CD on your computer and take the designs to a memory stick. These memory sticks go into the side of the machine, like so. Once the stick's in there and the light isn't flashing, push the button on the screen that has a USB prong. Once all the patterns have been retrieved, you can now scroll through and choose the design that you want. The embroidery area of this machine is 100 millimetres by 100 millimetres. All designs need to fit within that frame area. When using the embroidery function in your machine, you will need to use Brother Bob and Phil. This thread is a 60 weight thread, which comes in black and white. Stabilizers are very important when using an embroidery machine. There's several different types and they all have a different purpose. So May, the main one that people use would be tearaway. And tearaway is used on all woven types of fabric. The second one is cutaway. It's used on stretch fabrics. It doesn't tear like tearaway. So when you start doing your embroidery, it's not going to pull away from the design. So therefore you won't get any movement in the embroidery design. The next one is called wash away. This is designed to do lace. For example, the flowers here, they're all lace designs. They're all done on a wash away. It's designed to embroider lace designs and then wash it away. And what the result is, is a design without anything behind it. Another product that is um, used when you're using fabric that has a pile on it. So for example, corduroy towel fabric, as you can see here, if you wanted to embroider on a towel, you would need to put the solvey on the front of it so that all your stitching doesn't disappear into the pile of the actual fabric. Okay, so we're still using a tearaway behind the back of it or a cutaway behind the back of it, but on the top, we're going to use solvey. The way we've got this machine set up at the moment is for sewing mode. This is the embroidery unit that comes with the machine and that's a cover to protect the embroidery unit. This cover also is a dual purpose and becomes a sew tray table for your machine. Take the little sew tray table off and place this on the machine like so. You now have a bigger working area for your big projects. To set the machine up for embroidery, remove the sew tray table and place to the side. Turn the machine off Place the embroidery unit on until you'll actually hear it click and it's now in position, ready for you to do an embroidery project. Turn the machine back on. Touch the LCD screen. The carriage arm will move, so be careful not to touch it. I've actually chosen a cup and saucer, which is a red work design. So it's only a one colour design. Take your frame, remove the under hoop. Take your fabric, and this fabric is woven, so I actually have a piece of tear away behind the back of it. Making sure that the arrow is up the top of your design. Place your inner hoop into the outer hoop. If you're finding it's a bit tight, loosen it off and that will be depending on what fabric you're using. Hoop it into the machine. Tighten this up as tight as you can take it with your fingers. Making sure that your bobbin you have in the machine is filled with Brother Bobbin Fill. Place your frame on the embroidery unit, the arm. And the side here, there's no need to put any pressure on. The two lugs actually just click into place like so. 
Always making sure that your excess fabric is over this side of the arm rather than on the inside here. And thread the machine following the solid lines, making sure that our foot's up so the tension's open. Making sure the needle's in the highest position, just do needle up and down. Hook it around the number six needle bar, lower the foot, take it through the needle threader in the here and press the needle threader. Pull the loop at the back of the needle. Now it's ready to go. So just push the green button. The design's finished now, so I hit the OK button. Release the frame on the side by pushing the silver bar back, lift the frame up, lift the foot up, now remove the design from the hoop and incorporate it into your project.